All right, part number two. So we still got two more questions to do. We got to do number five. So number five, it says, when the temperature of a rigid hollow sphere, rigid hollow sphere, that just means like a ball that isn't going to go bigger or smaller. It's not a balloon. This is something that doesn't get bigger or smaller. Right? Contains 75 liters of helium gas. So it's got 75 liters of gas in it. Um, it's held at 284K. That's my temperature. And I don't have to change my temperature on this one. That's good because it's not Celsius. The pressure of the gas is 673 kPa. How many moles of helium does a sphere contain? Oh, here's my moles, so what's that? Uh, notice I don't have anything in column number two. Because I don't have anything in column number two, we're looking at equation number two here. Okay. So we're using PV equals NRT. And all we're going to do is we're going to stick everything in there. So we got pressure 673 times a volume of 75 equals N, well, that's my X. Oh, what's R, huh? Well, R was an ideal gas law, right, which is a known constant, R equals 8.31. So that's the one we're going to use. So we're going to go 8.31. That's a number that never changes, right, unless we use a different pressure. Um, and then we got a temperature of 284. Calvin. So there's my all my numbers in there. Now I gotta do is solve for this unknown, which is n. So I gotta divide by 8.31 times 284 on both sides. So that gets rid of those, gets rid of those, leaves me with n, that's my moles. Type this into the calculator, and you should get 21.4, and that was moles. Oh, what in the world is a mole? Well, a mole is a, is a unit to count things in chemistry, right? Um, it's kind of like, basically like a dozen. You go to the store and how do you buy eggs? You buy them in dozens, right? Well, in chemistry, we use something called a mole. And it's this really, 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 really big number. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, a whole bunch of them. Instead of being a dozen, which is 12, a mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. That's what a mole is. You don't have to worry about that. It's not going to be in the test for this test. So... But that's what a mole is. It's not, in this case, it's not the little animal that digs up your yard. Right? That's a different definition for mole. All right, last question, number six. What pressure? Oh, well, they want to know pressure. That's my X. Will be exerted by 0 0.670 moles. So 0 0.670 moles. I'm going to gas at 47 degrees Celsius, so 47 degrees Celsius, um, if it's contained in a 0 0.950 liter vessel, in other words, container. Uh, so again, we only got side number one. There's nothing on side number two, so we're using equation number two, because it's only got one P, one V, and one T. So my pressure, that's what we want to know, so that's P, my volume is 0 0.950. N is down here, so that's 0 0.670. R was, remember, 8.31. That doesn't change, as long as we keep with kilopascals. Temperature, oh, we got to change that. We've got to add 273 to this. That's 10, that's 1, 12, 320 Kelvin. Which I did it. Yeah. Okay. So my temperature is 320. All right, I gotta get pressure by itself. So divide by 0 0.950, 0 0.950, that lets me get rid of that. And P is all by itself. Type this into the calculator and you should get 1,875 kilopascals. Whew, that's some crazy pressure there, tell you what. Hopefully I got a strong container so it doesn't blow up. All right, that's the answers to those questions, all right? With that, we'll see you next time. Have a great day.